Hello everyone. I am Mamu Minakamo and thanks for joining me. Today, I will be covering how to share files between Ubuntu and Windows. With the recent changes in Ubuntu 2404, sharing files has become a bit more complicated. While the command base steps have not changed much, those more familiar with the desktop interface might find it a bit challenging. So, I will be walking you through these adjustments to make things clear. The order might shift a little, but we will follow the topics listed in the table of contents, so stay with me until the end. Let us get started. Open your file manager and right-click the folder you want to share. In the past, you had seen an option here called Unicrite Local Network Share but it is not there anymore. Hello there. Hmm, it's really gone, huh? So, what do we do now? Hey, Takayama. No worries. I will show you how to get it back. First, open the App Center, search for Samba, and select the Debian package. You will want to install the Samba file sharing plugin. Before, if you just click Local Network Share, it would prompt you to restore Samba automatically, but that has changed. Oh, you're at it with this stuff again, huh? So, what's Samba, anyway? Oh, my dad. Samba is free software that implements Microsoft's Windows Network. But even after installing it, the right-click option still does not show up. I thought I could solve this with just mouse actions, but... It looks like we will need to use a command. Got it. If we want that right-click option, we don't really have a choice, huh? I will include a link in the video description with the command you can copy and paste. Why not just put the command straight in the description? Yeah, if you overdo it, Google might mistake it for some kind of code and uh, send a warning. So? Let us go ahead and enter that command. First, open your terminal and type it in. For this video, I will be connecting from another computer to input the command. We will be installing a package called Nautilus Share. This package extends the sharing features in the Nautilus File Manager. After installing it, you will probably need to either restart your Ubuntu computer or log out to make it take effect. All right, logging out now. All right, I have logged out and back in. Let is right click the folder we want to share and check again. Oh, there it is. But it looks a bit different from before, doesn't it? Well, this is the local network sharing option, so let us give it a try. Hmm, an error popped up. That is odd. There it is. An error. I told you to prep for this ahead of time. Come on. Solving errors is what makes this a quality video. Anyway, let us add the current user to the Samba group. Almost forgot. We also need to set a Samba password for the current user. I see. Most guides suggest creating a new user and setting a password, but it turns out you can use the current user too. Yes, exactly. Also, do not forget to restart the Samba service. Lead is checked again to see if the folder is shared properly. And another error? But if we take a closer look, at this error message, it seems there's an issue with a specific directory. So, let us set up this directory correctly. What I am doing here is changing the owner to the root user and setting the group to the sound the share group. Then, I will give the group write permissions for this directory. Finally, let us restart Nautilus. Hmm. There's a message popping up. Is that okay? Yes, it's not an error. Nautilus is 
just attempting to communicate, so you can ignore it. It is a bit inconvenient that we have to configure Samba manually now. So, in Ubuntu 24.04 Desktop, the previous mouse-only method for setting up Samba isn't available anymore. It seems that is how things are for now. Whether the GUI-based Samba configuration will be available in future updates is still unknown. But once we have made these initial settings, we should be able to share files by just adjusting this configuration file. I will save this Samba configuration file now with the shared folder settings added and restart the service. We might need to follow these steps for now, but hopefully it'll be fixed eventually. With these changes, sharing should work. However, if the shared photo has full control permissions, it might trigger another error. So, we will first remove full control, then set up sharing through the GUI. I will address this later on. Not sure if this is a bug or a security issue. Oh, there is always the chance that I might be doing something wrong. Ara, uh, this time it should work. All right. It would be great if it worked this time. Clapping sound, congratulations. Thank you. But the shared folder keeps resetting to full control. Let's try connecting to this shared folder from a Windows computer. In the video, I am connecting through Run by entering the path. But you can also type it directly into the Explorer address bar. Oh, even though I checked the box for guest access, it's still prompting me for authentication. You are right. I will deal with this later. But do you notice anything unusual here? Hmm. I can't really tell from this screen. It may have been, you know, a bit hard to see since it only showed briefly in the video. Well, there were actually two shared folders showing up earlier. Anyway, the file copy seems to have worked, so here is what that looks like. I see. So, there are two shared folders, one created through the GUI and the other added via the Sama configuration file. Yes, that is exactly it. So, without editing the configuration file, I was able to create the shared folder just by using the mouse. Something seemed off, so I tried it again on a different computer. This is something you only understand once you try it out. Here is the more efficient way to do it. Since Nautilus Share relies on Samba to share folders, network sharing will not work if Samba is not installed. That is why Samba was installed automatically as a dependency. We'll just have to adapt as we go, it seems. Right, so there was no need to install Samba on its own. However, we still need to set up the user. Now, to double check, let is restart the Samba service. It looks like we still have to adjust the settings for the folder where the error occurred. In the video, I did not go over this part, but it is recommended to restart your computer here to also refresh Nautilus. This has been a great learning experience. It's something you don't notice until you actually try it, but maybe one day we'll be able to do this without any commands. You all did well. I'm impressed. Hopefully, this feedback will reach the Ubuntu developers. Hey, sometimes you say good things, but there is still quite a bit left to do. Next, let us make sure the Ubuntu PC shows up on the Windows network. Before that, if your PC is not appearing on the network, double take your network discovery and sharing setting. Additionally, ensure that SMB 1.0 is enabled in the Windows features. We will install a tool called WSDD2 from this GitHub page. In the video, the firewall on the Ubuntu computer is disabled, which simplifies things, but if yours is enabled, make sure to open the necessary ports. It is straightforward, just install WSD2.
I was going to check if the Ubuntu PC showed up. But as soon as I installed it, it was already visible on the network. Since we are here, let's also try connecting to other computers from the Ubuntu desktop. In the File Manager, go to Other Locations and enter the following format. SMB is the standard protocol for file sharing on Windows networks. It's convenient for sharing files across different operating systems, like accessing Windows shares from Ubuntu or other Linux systems. True, but with most cloud services, we're often required to use command line inputs. Got it. All right, let's quickly walk through it. Here is our Ubuntu server. So think of this as our cloud service screen. Since the client is not pre-installed, let's install it first. Please hold on a moment. Installation is complete. I do not actually memorize commands. I just adjust the syntax as needed and copy-paste it. For the connection, I will use the shared folder we set up earlier. Commands are not something you need to overthink. They are really not as complicated as they seem. Since there are files in the shared folder, should we bring one over? Oh, looks like we ran into another error. If there is a space in the file name, this command will not work as is. For files like this, make sure to enclose the file name in quotes. Right, the transfer is complete. As for the save location, the file will be saved in the directory where you entered the client command. And that is it for this video on file sharing. We will wrap it up here for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.